Hello, hi, this is uh, Jason, the product manager from QNAP headquarters Taipei. So today I'm the host to uh, walk you through our upcoming 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapters. Uh, that will be good for uh, QNAP NAS and PC and uh, the most important in uh, your servers. So let's go to the uh, slides. So today uh, you will see the three different uh, 2.5 gigabit network adapters from QNAP. So the first one will be QXG2G1T-I225. The second one is a dual port, the 2G2T. The third one is a quad port, 2G4T. And uh, all of them are based on the server grade Intel uh, network chip, uh, I225. Okay, and uh, so this is uh, uh, the very important uh, uh, new cards that will enable the high, higher speed 2.5 gigabit connectivity uh, for your QNAP NAS and uh, as well as your computers and the servers. Okay, so today the agenda is uh, we are going to go over the benefits of 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and then uh, the various QNAP uh, 2.5 gigabit and uh, 5 gigabit and 10 gigabit ecosystem, the various accessories and switches that uh, allow you to quickly form the 2.5 gig connectivity. And then the next topic will be about uh, the card themselves. Uh, for example, the supported operating systems, uh, host devices, and then uh, the benefits. And the next one is uh, the additional QNAP adapters that uh, you can uh, go with that for higher speed. Okay. So traditionally, you may see only uh, 10 gigabit uh, switches besides the 1 gigabit switches. And also the older 10 gigabit switches can only support either a 10 gigabit or 1 gigabit, but not the speed in between. Uh, but uh, in the recent years, you will see that uh, there are more and more uh, 10 gigabit switches, they are compatible with the new multi-gig, the NBEST standards, which can support uh, 5 gigabit and uh, 2 gigabit. Okay, so if you are uh, for your home or for your uh, work, the small offices, work groups, uh, sometimes it may cost a bit too much to upgrade to a 10 gigabit uh, network environment if your application does not need uh, that high speed. Okay. So uh, last year uh, and this year QNAP has uh, started to offer besides the 10 gigabit solution but also the 5 gigabit network cards uh, and also on our NAS. So there's a 5 gigabit in between the 10 gigabit and 1 gigabit. Uh, however, uh, with the disadvantage of 10 gigabit is that uh, you have to upgrade your cable, cabling infrastructure to a CAT6 or higher. So it's additional uh, budget for you to upgrade to a 10 gigabit network. But uh, if you uh, you want to stick with the current uh, cable wiring, then you have a 5 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit uh, to choose from. So today, QNAV is bringing the brand new 2.5 gigabit uh, network adapters that can really help you uh, plan your budget in the later this year and the next year. So with the 2.5 gigabit and the 5 gigabit, the benefits are, uh, first of all, the, your current uh, cable wiring with CAT5E can already support uh, these two different speeds at a longer distance. It's over 100 meters long, okay? And uh, besides getting the uh, newer 10.5 gigabit switches uh, for your, uh, the whole entire network environment, you can also consider uh, there are a few and are coming 2.5 gig only switches. So the total solution will be uh, much more affordable compared to a pure 10 gigabit uh, devices. Okay, so uh, this is just to tell you there are more choices besides the 10 gigabit and 5 gigabit. Okay, now uh, you may think uh, is 2.5 gig still far away from uh, my uh, accessories and my environment? No. Uh, here you will see that uh, actually more and more devices are compatible with 2.5 gig solution. First of all is a switch. So not just 10 gigabit switch, now QNAP is uh, offering the 5 port 2.5 gigabit switch at a very uh, good price that uh, you can check with the region in Q3. Some of them are available, some of the countries already have them available. Okay. 
Now, uh, for some of the uh, enterprise grade uh, routers and access points, as well as the, some of the gaming routers, you can already see the 2.5 gig port available. And then if you look at those uh, companies' uh, marketing materials, they say that uh, the 2.5 gig can be used either for your WAN connection or for your LAN with the NAS. Because uh, if you have a, once you have the 2.5 gig for the NAS, then all the other clients with 1 gigabit can concurrently uh, connect to the NAS with 2.5 gig bandwidth. Okay, so uh, earlier this year, QNAP is also launching many new NASes with built-in 2.5 gig. Take for example the TS231P3 and the 431P3 uh, come with a uh, one port of 2.5 gig LAN port. Uh, integrated okay so you can right away use that with the 2.5 gig switch and uh, the NIC and our TS 53D series those uh, Intel based NAS solution comes with two two of the 2.5 gig name ports okay so uh, by having the NAS with a built-in 2.5 gig name ports your performance is not no longer limited by the built-in 1 gigabit name port it can Really, truly, be uh, using the full bandwidth of the 2.5 gig out of this uh, NAS. Okay. Now uh, you will also see that if you are doing the DIY PC with the Intel 10th generation CPU and the motherboard, as well as the AMD Ryzen processors with uh, the new mid-level B550 chip uh, chipset motherboards, you will see that uh, many of them, I would say 80% of them, those market uh, motherboards already have a built-in 2.5 gig LAN port available so uh, they are actually coming really really soon to your uh, environment and uh, not to mention many of the laptops and the Macs the Mac Pro already have the built-in 10 gigabit that support uh, 2.5 gig and also the pure 2.5 gig laptop that's available from some of the uh, famous brands so with all the ecosystem is booming, you will see that 2.5 gig is really uh, one big step leap forward uh, compared to the I would say 20 year old gigabit solution. Okay, that's been around. Okay, so let's take a look at the different cabling. Uh, with the Cat 5e and Cat 6 and Cat 6a, there are three different cables uh, nowadays that you commonly see in the markets. Uh, CAT5E, which is the most common cable and the, the cheapest one, can support already up to 5 gig speed and over 100 meters long. With CAT6, uh, 10 gigabit is partially supported up to 55 meters long. CAT6A can support all the various speeds with uh, longer distances. So to upgrade your speed between your server and uh, the NAS, then for your client and the NAS, simply you can install a 2.5 gig network adapters on each side then by using the existing cable you can already upgrade to a 2.5 gigabit speed with a direct connection okay so this uh, is a very quick uh, and affordable solution to upgrade to a 2.5 gig speed now let's take a look at of the each of the cards so QNAP uh, this 2.5 gig cards are based on the Intel uh, network IC solution so you will see that uh, there's a single port uh, dual port and the quad ports okay and single port will be in the market first very soon in the, uh, in the coming months and dual port and quad will also be available in the coming uh, one or two months okay uh, you will see that uh, we have uh, provided the upgraded bandwidth for more ports available so that you can fully take advantage of the higher different uh, ports of the higher bandwidth requirement okay so one port two ports and uh, four ports these four three varieties can be chosen from so let's take a look at detail specs now the ethernet controller on all, all the on these cards you will see that it's based on intel i225 dash lm this is very important because uh, you see in the market that uh, some of the uh, cheaper 2.5 gigabit card uh, they are based on either Intel or a different vendor solution, but they use a lower um, lower configure configure spec uh, IC. There's an I225-V 
So which means it is for PC market only. It, it is lacking some of the server uh, features. And that's why QNAP is using this uh, more advanced i225 add-on chip to uh, let you install it on your Windows servers. And later on we'll talk about uh, what kind of enterprise serv server features these cards can support. So different port, one port, two port, and four port. And uh, each port can support 2.5 gig, one gig, and 100 megabit and 10 megabit, four different speeds, okay? And for a server features, there are several uh, features such as the PXE boot, Wacom LAN support, and the Intel Remote Management, the ANT, okay, or lead and uh, VLAN support, also as well as the NIC teaming. So these are the advanced features that are uh, very important if you want to install the cards in your Windows server. Now the supported operating system besides the QNAM NAS is uh, Windows 10, which requires you to have a 64-bit Windows 10. Uh, Windows Server 2019, 64-bit, uh, here is the important Windows Server. And then the various uh, Linux and uh, Ubuntu versions, okay? Now, uh, in the package, package content, you will see that uh, it's got one card with a pre-installed local file bracket and uh, two additional brackets for QNAS and QIG. Now, uh, for the Wacom LAN port, uh, I want to remind you that uh, only the lower port is supported. The lower port, the port number one that's near the gold finger can support the Wacom LAN. So when you are playing the Wacom LAN, be sure to plug in your network cable into the first port, okay? Now, these are the additional brackets QNAP include for, so that uh, you can use the card on various QNAP chassis and as well as your server chassis, okay? So by default, we ship them with a, a low profile bracket and uh, we provide additional uh, high profile, full head high profile and also a low profile flat bracket, okay? Now for the operating system support, for the Windows uh, Linux drivers, you can download them from the Intel website. The official website is on Intel website already, okay? Now for the QNET NAS, you have to upgrade your NAS to a QTS 4.4.2 and above to have a built-in support of this new 2.5 gig adapters, okay? So uh, when you have a free uh, PCI slot available in your NAS and you want to upgrade your performance, then simply to look at our uh, 2.5 gig solution and then upgrade your QTS to this 4.4.2 or later. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the server features. So with the Intel server grade ICs on our NICs, uh, you can use the NIC for your PXE boot with your thin client, for example, use a Wacom LAN, also uh, NIC teaming to do a port trunking for higher performance for your host, okay? So these are the various uh, uh, business features that uh, you can enable with this uh, QNAP uh, server grade NICs. So unlike other 2.5 gig in the market, most of them are still using the uh, cheaper solution, which does not support, support Windows Server, okay? Now for the uh, advanced uh, business features, the card is compatible with the uh, Intel AMT, Advanced Management Function, and also Wacom LAN. So it allows IT administrators to uh, easily manage the various computers remotely, okay? so. There are various uh, uh, features that IT people can benefit by using this card, okay? So let's take a look at this. So with the uh, Intel, the active management technology, actually it's like a independent from, it's a hardware feature independent from the operating system itself. So it uses out-of-band technology so that uh, IT administrators can easily do several maintenance or updates to the computer, for example, if you want to uh, deploy your system with the uh, uh, same configuration, if you want to upgrade your software or uh, upgrade, uh, for example, update the antivirus definition or to do some troubleshooting, de uh, deploy your software uh, applications, all these can use the Intel AMT feature uh, to remotely manage the devices. Also, it is a good good uh, solution for IT people to manage your IT assets in your company with this uh, AMT technology. It's part of the vPro technology, okay?
Now, important thing is that uh, to support the AMT, you need to check if your computer hardware and the BIOS can support this feature. So before doing that, make sure your existing hardware can support that. Okay. Now, uh, how can you do with the Intel AMT? It's very easy because uh, uh, itself it's got a web-based interface. You can log in remotely and then we support uh, 16992, something like that. And then it's got a web interface for you to uh, do various maintenance uh, routines. Or you can use a third-party uh, open source software called uh, Mesh Commander to uh, remotely manage your device with a graphical user interface to do that. Okay. Now, how about the performance of the 2.5 gig? Uh, not undoubtedly, you see that uh, compared to 1 gigabit, it's 2.5 times faster. So, if you have a device with only 1 gigabit port, then you are limited to only 118 or 19 megabyte per second. But uh, by installing this 2.5 gig uh, network adapter into your NAS, so our example is by using a TSH77 NAS, and then our PC also has this card installed. So both the NAS and PC have the one of the 2.5 gig card installed. When we do a performance benchmark, you see that uh, both read and write is about two, 295 megabyte per second. Okay. So let's take a look at the performance demo about 2.5 gigabit. Let's go to the PC. So here I have prepared a TS-877 with the card installed. It's a 2.5 gig one port installed here with a 2.5 gig connectivity. Then let's try to do a file drag and drop to see the performance. So first of all, I'm going to upload a 2.5 gigabyte file to the NAS and then let's check the performance. It's about uh, 900 mega, 290 megabyte per second. So it matches our previous uh, information. Okay, let me delete the file on the, on the PC. So let's try to copy the data from the NAS to the PC and then check the performance. So likewise, performance is still the very similar, about 290 megabyte per second. So you will see that uh, compared to one gigabit network card, it can really uh, cut down your time required and then make you more productive. So let's come back to the slides of okay, the PowerPoint. Okay, so besides the brand new 2.5 gig adapters, QNAP also offers several different uh, network cards for you to choose from. For example, if you are all in for a 10 gigabit environment, QNAP uh, offers the not just the 10 gigabit switches we now have when we have a manager in our manage solutions, but also for your host and for your NAS, you can purchase this uh, MBST solutions with one port and the two port 10 gigabit solution. So uh, you can install any of this card to upgrade your uh, NAS or PC performance. Now, if you are more into, uh, if you are looking into the five gigabit, for example, if you got a five gigabit NAS or uh, more five gigabit environment, then you can choose the QNAP uh, one port, two port, and uh, quad port five gigabit adapters. So with this, you can get uh, almost twice the speed of the two point five gig cards. So also bring out your uh, more speed, okay? Well, I would say four or five times higher than the gigabit solution, okay? Now, so QNAP is going to uh, launch this uh, brand new uh, five port, 2.5 gigabit unmanaged switch, okay, in various markets. Now, uh, let me talk a little bit about the information about this uh, switch. We already uh, mentioned about this. So let me just uh, talk about the features. It is a uh, fanless, so you can place it in any of your uh, environment, like in your work office, even in your uh, study. So it doesn't create any uh, noises with this uh, fanless switch. And uh, it is unmanaged, so you don't have to have uh, IT expertise to learn how to set it up. Simply just plug and play, okay? And uh, it's got a built-in feature, it's called a loop detection, which is commonly only found in the uh, management switch. So this allows you to uh, troubleshoot if there's a loop formed by any of the cables. Okay, so you can easily troubleshoot and uh, solve the issue, the connectivity issue. Okay, so the brand new 
2.5 gig uh, five port switch will be available in Q3 in many of the countries, and then the price will also be amazing. Simply uh, look forward to it. Okay. Now, if you if your computer does not have any more of the PCIe slot, or if you are using a laptop, then we have uh, several uh, two choices for you. Okay. First one is a USB solution. This uh, QNA UC 5G 1T. Uh, connect to your USB port. So on the de device itself, we have a Type C port, and we include a C2A cable. So you can connect it to any of your computer with a Type A port, USB 3.0 or higher. Now, if you have a Type C host, you can purchase optional C2C cable to make the connection. Okay, and the speed is up to five gigabit. So it is also a good. Uh, option to go with the 2.5 gig PCI adapter to form a 2.5 gig network. And if you are a Mac user of, if you have a Thunderbolt 3 uh, Windows laptop, then you have a QNA T3 10G 1T to choose from. So this is a Thunderbolt 3 interface. So it's a Thunderbolt 3 to 10GB network adapter and uh, can perform provide up to 10 gigabit Ethernet speed. So it allows easily for your Mac and uh, Windows laptops to connect to a 10 GB network with the Thunderbolt 3 technology. Okay. So these are the two different accessories that are uh, also very easy to use and to connect to your computer to uh, set up and then to connect to your 2.5 G and the higher network. Okay. So lastly, this is a, a simple diagram that uh, previous and uh, before and after. So before you install the cards, you are limited only at a one gigabit speed, you know, between your server, your NAS, and uh, the switch. Even though you have upgraded your switch, but uh, once you have uh, purchased and installed this QNAP 2.5 gigabit adapters, then you can upgrade to uh, 2.5 gig or even higher, depending on what kind of uh, uh, switch and uh, network card you choose, you know, to upgrade to the uh, up to five gigabit with a Cat 5e cabling. Okay. So this solution, this different accessories from QNAP uh, offers a very simple and uh, affordable upgrade of your network to uh, help you transfer and backup data much faster compared to the traditional gigabit speed. Okay. So in the end, uh, let me conclude again. So QNAP will be launching three different uh, 2.5 gigabit server grade adapters from uh, one port 2.5 gig to two port 2.5 gig and then quad port 2.5 gig, and they are all using a low profile design, so they can easily be fit into uh, any of your chassis. And uh, server upgrade adapter means, uh, unlike the, those other uh, cheaper solutions, you can use them in your Windows Server environment. Okay, for your advanced server applications. Okay, now so that's about uh, the conclusion today. Let's go back to the QNAP live screen. So today I have introduced all the three different cards, uh, two point five gigabit uh, server grade cards based on Intel server grade IC solution from QNAP. So these cards will be available uh, this summer pretty soon. And uh, so if you want to know more about QNAP products. And then also various uh, video introductions. Then be sure to check out our QNetLive.com. Okay, so thank you for watching this new product introduction, and see you next time. Bye bye.